PLC management video two. Uh, in this video, we are going to go through the stages one by one. And since this is the first video on this, I will go through, uh, I will create a few short videos, basically going through step by step. And each step is dedicated, uh, each video dedicated to one step. So the first step typically in any stage, uh, if we are using the simplified stage management is to do plan the stage. So if I click on plan the stage, it will open a window on the right that, okay, uh, here it gives you information whether you are using MS Project or not. Uh, if you are using MS Project and you are able to download the template that we provide, uh, you will be able to import packages from the MS Project directly into, uh, uh, into your project task management. Or you, if, uh, or if you have not downloaded the file, you can download it now. Uh, for the time being, uh, we, you know, I want, we'll keep the, the video focused on the process. We will cover these topics in different videos. So I will say an A. Uh, also, in addition, whether you are using MS Project or not, this is a place where you can, you know, redirect to task management. Uh, so by clicking this button, it take you to task management, where you will be able to create tasks for your stage, right? Remember, because now we are planning this stage. This is the idea of rolling wave planning. We plan, we have a very high level view of plan for the project, and then we go stage by stage. So for this stage, what do I need? Okay, what task do I need to accomplish? And the second part is what, who are the people that they need to help me accomplish those tasks? So you can, uh, here you can do the task management, and here you can uh, basically add team members. Obviously every team member need to be, you can add them here, or you can go to the team management module and add them there. And to be able to add team members, they have to have licenses. And if they don't have a license, you have the ability to request a license uh, from the client admin. So for the time being, I'm just gonna keep it simple in order to understand that we follow the process. So uh, you can download MS Project and download tasks from MS Project. You can add tasks manually and you can add people as well. For the time being, we're saying all and A, and then we can say, uh, you know, you can pause, you can think about it, but I'm done. Uh, I finished my plan. And with this, now we have a plan. And uh, basically, uh, what else can I do? I'm, I'm going to talk about the, other, the next process in this video, which is managing control. For the simplified stage management process, this is quite simple. So if you go through here, uh, you will notice that this is more like a journal and you notice I have already entered um, one entry here. So this is again, as a journal, you keep like a diary, you keep what going on. But remember, you, we manage tasks, issues, risk, cost, scope, and they're separate module. They are separate module for all of these areas. Some of them are still simplified, some of them are fully uh, developed. But in general, and so th what the purpose of this is just more or less to keep a journal to, to know what's going on, more like, uh, like a storytelling format. And uh, when you enter comment, you can attach file, you can allow comments. Uh, you, so I mean, so if you, project manage, you are the project manager, you can add comment. You can allow, when we say allow comment, that means you're allowing your other team member to comment on this. Uh, so let's say uh, that's it. Uh, so for this video, I'll stop here. And next video, I will talk about doing the stage deliverable. And then we have another video for the stage gate.